So people ask me, well, what is this thing? Is it a motorcycle? Is you know, and I just say, you know what? It's half the bike. It's twice the fun. Rhino bike is a single wheel electric motorcycle. Ten miles an hour, travel on the bike lane or the sidewalk. Take it with you on the train. It doesn't take up a lot of space. It's a self balancing single wheeled personal transportation product. The inspiration for this bike wasn't, you know, some uh, mad scientist experiment to build something crazy. It was literally, you know, my daughter and I are riding out to go fishing. She's 13 years old and out of the silence says, hey daddy, I saw this one wheeled motorcycle in a video game. Could you actually build that? And she takes a piece of paper and scribbles this sketch and shows it to me. And we talked about it. You know, I mean, she knows I'm an engineer and, okay, how would I actually build this? You know, the first step is to get your head around, you know, what do you do to ride on one wheel? So I literally took my mountain bike and hacksawed it off and put a seat on the package shelf behind and I put the handlebars where the seat is and I tried to pedal this thing around my backyard and it was impossible. So then I said, all right, well, all right, we've got to put some gyro stabilization. I'm thinking about motors and, you know, so I bought some chains and a year later, you know, after loading all these software boards and getting the motors working and it balanced front and back, great, but it was impossible to ride. Tony, my software guy, was just really adamant. He says, dude, you know, if we can't make this thing dead simple, it's going to cost too much and it's never going to go anywhere. We welded together something that looked like a frame and stuck some handlebars out in front of, you know, this bike and the wheel underneath it and he loaded the software and, and a month and a half later we took it over my house and, and turned it on and I got on that thing and, and in 10 minutes I was riding around my neighborhood like I'm riding a bike. I grew up in Detroit. I mean, it's a scrappy town, right? I mean, it's a rough town. I grew up in a house where my dad was an engineer. I started designing machinery uh, for the auto industry right out of high school. So after 15 years, I got to be a pretty good mechanical engineer. We are living in an amazing time because there's so much of the subcomponents that have been integrated. So we've bought and searched and aggregated, you know, all of this stuff. The magic really is how do you integrate all that into something that operates completely seamlessly and gives the rider this experience that they can totally trust. The balance technologies in this bike rely on an interesting combination of two devices. One device is an accelerometer, and then there's a gyro. When you update the gyro with the accelerometer, you get a really accurate location of where the center of the earth is and the tilt angle that you know, deviates from that. So the bike wants to stay on zero tilt angle. But the fact that somebody can look so relaxed uh, riding along on a single wheel is just fascinating to people. You know, when you transition through that training experience, which is only 15 minutes to ride in a straight line and a couple of days, you know, riding around the basketball courts to get calibrated, it's a beautiful piece of machinery. The thing that th is different about the Rhino is it's, it's personal mobility, it's on the sidewalk. I can park it at the bike rack. I can go in the bike lane. So that takes me completely off the street where I get stuck at a traffic light. It's funny because until you actually have a Rhino, you don't see this other landscape. It sort of appears. We did it. We reinvented the wheel.